What's up, y'all? Sean of the Shred, and I am um, working on my new ride. And uh, I went ahead and picked up some louvers because uh, I've always loved the look of the louvers. And I'm currently just prepping them right now, uh, getting the little adhesive pieces screwed in there so that way I can go ahead and test fit it. Um, since I am doing this by myself, I am uh, going to go ahead and put some tape on the underside of these, face in with sticky side down, so that way when I test fit it, on the window, I can uh, put the tape in place and then unbolt the bottom, and this little bracket will stay taped down where I need it, and that way I can go around and um, get them all stuck down in place, remove the louver, and then I can go one by one and you know mark it, um, pick it up, do the adhesion promoter, lay it down, pressure it, and make sure that it stays in place. Okay, so I went ahead and put the. Uh tape on both edges of all of them. Test fitting. Today is the day I finally get to go ahead and put on my louvers. So step one, I'm going to go ahead and wash the window real well with some Dawn dish soap, get all the crap off, and then I'm going to go ahead and go around the perimeter of the window with some isopropyl alcohol before I'm going to put down any of the uh, adhesion promoter from 3M and then where it will attach and hopefully that way it never flies off or has any issues so uh, yeah let's do that okay well currently the rain is threatening there's drops coming down on the window that I just cleaned but I'm still gonna go ahead and start doing the square outlines I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer here. All right, so now that I've got all the uh, tape outlined on there, uh, basically what I'm doing is using my lint-free rag to go around it and just make sure that it is nice and sealed down. Uh, from there, I'll clean it again with some rubbing alcohol once I've got them all sealed down in place and uh, I'm sure that there's no little air gaps. I'm paying special attention here to uh, the way that the tape's laid on so that way I don't accidentally drag it back the wrong way and cause it to... Uh, fold over or ripple or anything like that and uh, once I've got that on there like I said I'll put down the adhesion promoter and then I can stick down each of the little pieces and uh, should be good definitely don't want to drip any of it over my car or my paint but there we go that's a solid wipe all right, I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way around. It says you've got up to an hour after you use it to uh, apply the the sticky pieces. So. All 
All right. So I've got the UV adhesion promoter on there in all those spots. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go around now and stick down each one of those pads directly back into the square. Now this adhesive on the back of these is typically a stick it once and it's only used once kind of uh, tape. So make sure you get it aligned properly. Okay, so now after you get her hair done, you might have to put a cap on just to keep it nice and secure. So I've gone and done did that because bullshit ass Texas is now threatening rain. We haven't had rain in forever, but I go and doing something to my car that doesn't allow it to get wet for 24 hours and there's rain. So I tarped it front and back nice and tight and uh, none of the water will touch any of the pieces I just stuck on so they'll stay on nice and secure okay so the brackets have now been on the back window uh, sitting there um, for more than 24 hours so now I should be able to finally go ahead and put the louvers on I forgot that it also came with this foam um, it's like uh, adhesive bound in the back of one side and just regular foam on the other so um, I forgot about this I need to go ahead and attach this so that way they don't rattle I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on all the mounting points um, wherever I'm gonna have a bracket it'll have a piece of foam that will cushion it So um, now there's rain in the forecast here in Texas. So after doing some additional research, um, I found that what I really should do around these brackets, I should go ahead and go around them with like some clear silicone. And that way it will keep any water out so it doesn't undercut the um, adhesive tape and lift the brackets off because that'll lead to premature failure. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the louver off real quick, clean around it, and then lay down some uh, clear silicone. And then that way, if it does happen to rain, which is in the forecast for several days, um, I won't have to worry about these getting water in them and then peeling off at high speed or whatever and me losing my louvers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before the rain hits. All right, so I'm glad I did go ahead and tarp it because uh, I kept all the rain off that uh, we actually did get went ahead and went around all of them went ahead and pushed in the uh, caulk on all the sides so that way it could get uh, nice and covered um, it's not the prettiest when you go all the way around the window like that or around the, the perimeter but uh, none of that is in my visual field since this is where the vision starts um, all that's on the outside perimeter but I did go ahead and um, do each one of those and then that way I would not have to worry about the water getting under there on the adhesive and then undercutting it which would lead to premature failure. 
So uh, once I went ahead and got those all done, like I said, I tarped it, left it, and now I am um, just going to spray it down and try and get some of these dirty spots all off. Well, I gave it an at-home test with the water hose and none of the mounting brackets screamed in pain, so I think we're probably okay. I'm going to finish washing her and put the uh, louvers back on. So far, so good. No rattling. I haven't seen any vibration from the louvers, no lifting, uh, no issues so far, so keep an eye on it, but looks good.